Hey, how's it going? Why am I looking at you sideways? I'll show you now before we get going with anything else. I didn't take any before photos, so here is the before and here is the after. I got this done yesterday. The other side is going to be done as well. Ah! There we go. Ooh, showing a bit of shoulder. Um. Ow. Okay. So now we've got that out of the way. Very feminine for me, by the way. Um, I've got a flower. Okay. Anyway. Um, so in this video, I'm showing a very strange repair. Um, I've kind of just made an on-the-spot decision that any really weird repairs that are probably going to be like a one-off situation... My apologies, got a phone call. Um, so any repairs and stuff that are going to be like a once-off situation but might come up for someone else, um, I'll make it make a short video specifically for that repair so that it's easier for people to find if they come across the same um, kind of repair that needs to be done. Now I'm going to start off by saying this probably isn't necessarily going to be the best way to do this, but in this situation there's only really one way for me to fix this and I'm going to go about it in the best way I can do. Just putting that out there as a disclaimer, if you don't like the way I do it, don't do it. Simple as that. Um, you can feel free to tell me in the comments if you don't like the way I do something. I'd love the feedback. Okay, so first off, showing you what it is I'm working on. That makes me so nervous seeing the little wheel sticking out like that. Actually, there's a little crack there. Oh no. I'll deal with that later. Anyway, um, so the thing that I need to repair, if you haven't seen it already, is here. So, as you can see, that is moving, and that shouldn't be moving. So, initially I was just like, eh, it's just a crack there, and I'll glue it up, and it'll be right. It's not really glued up very well. I'm going to be painting this chair, so it's not really a big deal if there's parts that I have to fill with Bondo, but that is still not great, and I don't really want to leave it like that. So I was like, okay, I'll drill a hole through the back of it, and um, drill a hole big enough to put some dowel in there, and that'll strengthen it. The drill wouldn't keep going any further because someone's put a nail through there to try and fix it, and I'd say that's why that has split. And there's no hole on this side, like there's no nail hole or anything on this side, so I'd definitely say this was a repair that someone else has done. I'm sorry if I sound all like sinusy and shit. It's the cold weather, and you know I'm just special. Um, so with the way it is and the way it's built, there's no real way for me to get that nail out of there without pulling the whole chair apart. And I am not pulling the whole chair apart. So I need to work out another way to do this. And I've got an idea. And again, I'm going to say it again. I, I'm probably going to have people coming at me in the comments for how I'm going to go about doing this. But again, I am doing my thing and taking you guys with me and if you don't like it you can stop watching okay if you're easily offended look away now all right so now that i've done that i should be able to wiggle this end out like that there we go now I have to go and find that part that's fallen off now you can see the nail there I'm gonna start off by trying to use these ones I find these ones really good for pulling nails out of things but this is a really fat nail
Okay, so that's just about completely dry, or well, what I can see anyway. Um, and I wasn't happy with the way it was clamped, so I tucked a couple of little zippy ties around it and tightened those buggers up with a pair of pliers. And yeah, it was looking good. <clears throat> I never learned my lesson. And I'm going to be super impatient here, and I'm going to put this together now. Even though I'm pretty sure the glue is not completely dry. So I'm going to slap a little lubricant on here, sorry, glue. Slap a little glue on here, get that all nice and moist. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Uh, oh yeah, stick that in there like that. Like so. And then I'm gonna get a little bit on my finger here. And I'm just gonna, yep, like that. It's probably not gonna do a great deal, but whatever. Uno momento, por favor. This clamp is not going to serve any purpose other than keeping it somewhat lined up and in the right spot while I drill the hole just so that's just going to keep it at the right height so all I have to do is hold it in that position I don't have to try and hold it exactly where it needs to be if you get what I'm saying and then we're going to get the old drill and we're going to see if we can split this spindle in half again let's see how we go I'm going to go slowly A little bit at a time. Alright, I think that's enough. And then we're going to get our dowel plug. Wait, can you see what I'm doing? I'll move you over this way. Ah! Nearly fell over. Ah! Super professional. I'm kind of well and truly beyond the point of trying to be professional. As you can probably tell. Because I don't want to be like everyone else. And you guys seem to get a kick out of me just being myself. So I'm just running with it. I'm gonna just pop that in there. I'm gonna find something long and pokey. I'm gonna use that, maybe? Is that gonna. Oh! And then I'm going to get another dowel plug to plug up the rest of that hole. Increase my collection of different size dowel plugs and like just long lengths, lengths of dowel. I just spat everywhere. Um, long lengths of dowel so that when I'm doing longer pieces like this, I don't have to use multiple dowel. I can just, you know, use a long enough piece to do the job, although I guess it doesn't really matter. I think I am just talking to myself at this point. Beep boop bop bop, beep boop bop bop bop, jibber jabber, you know. Ugh. Of course not. Yeah, no. That way. Yeah. Like that. 
I don't think it's super tight, I just want to pull it tight enough that that arm isn't going to be wobbling around. Good job. Yes, I'm congratulating myself. Shut up. Alright, now, if you want to see how this turned out and if it actually worked and holds up, you'll have to watch the full makeover video when it comes out. Oh no, she did it! Yes, she did. Sorry. I'm gonna go. Bye!